Get him in the fridge, dude. Get him in the fridge. Get him in the fridge. Oh, this. This is up the gut. Roll the title. Let's go. This, this is up the guts. It's about Friday, 7.30 p.m. Let's run through the show as fast as we can so we can get to the pub and watch the Slingers play a sold out show at the corner and really grip it and rip it. Let's get started with the news. The Ukraine war rages on. We're into day 394 of the Russian military exercise. Multiply that by 8.34, and that's the days it's been since I've seen my dad. <laughs> that's so bad, boys. That's what, we've, that's what we've got for you tonight, boys. If you don't like that, turn off. Pope Francis recently said priests might not have to be celibate going forward. He conveniently forgot to mention the age and gender of the partners. <laughs> boys, I, I'm, this is bad. This is so bad. This is bad. All right. Have you, seen, have you seen this one? So Billy McFarland, the, the owner and runner of Fire Festival, has recently been asked to speak at an entrepreneur concert. That's like getting Oscar Pistorius to speak at an indoor gun safety convention. <laughs> <laughs> and other news, child abuse is down 40%. Isn't child abuse weird to think about anyway? It's like, <laughs> I love you. I'm six years old, homie. Why do we have beef? Like, <laughs> why, Dad? <laughs> I miss him so much. I miss him. The feds intercepted a plane carrying $15 million worth of meth in Queensland. It was a decoy plane. Quirky, that's quite weird. You know when you're on Facebook, Instagram, and you see people comment on a post like, I couldn't care less, no one gives a shit. Well, maybe you care a little bit enough to comment, you know what I mean? Mate, you owe me 400 bucks. We'll talk about it after the show, we'll talk about it after the show. Oh, hang on. Boys, I'm going to be back in about two minutes. Let's just go to a commercial or something. Just give me a couple minutes, boys. Is that the same as last time? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Mate, did you just get someone to drop you off a beer from the pub up the road? Yeah, it always tastes a bit off the wood. You know that. You know that. How much did it cost? Don't worry about that. Just sit down. Let's finish the show. All right, Q. First date draft. First date ideas. Five picks each. I'll give you pick one because it's my house and I'm a nice guy. All right. I've got bar in Abbotsford. That's a good one. That's a good one. My first one is take her to the footy with your mates. She'll love that. Nice. I've got go to the beach. Beach is good, beach is good. I might pick two. I've got couples counselling. <laughs> <laughs> I've got cook at home. Cook at home. That's all right. I, would have, I still can't believe he's on the board at pick three. Take it to a dog pound and pretend to adopt a dog, but then realise you're not going to do it because you've got standards. We're going to go to a breeder. <laughs> Christmas lunch. I've got movie. <laughs> <laughs> My wedding. And I, that's a good one. And I've got one, my last peak in the giraffe, I'm going to go, I can't believe this is still available at five. Take it to the Bermuda Triangle, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. All right, quirky rats, crushes, and sure thing, bets of the week. I'll right. start, we'll start with crushes of the week. Yeah. I've got crying in the car, just get after it, like it gives a fuck. I've got NRL chicks, Seth Cohen's fashion, Paddy Garsh's handshake, we used to do the finger thing in your palm and make you oh, feel really special, yeah, yeah, yeah. with a wiggle round. Yeah. And that's all I've got for this week. Mate, you've put more effort than I have. <laughs> I've got one. What is it? It's Big Paul Mullen from the Wrexham. Fucking, Paul fucking Paul, fucking Mullen. You know your boy's dead pool and shit, bought the club out. Like he's, we got Paul he's, Mullen. He's, he kicks goals. He's a fucking bull. All right, rats of the week. I'll start off. Tow trucks got done in a fucking clear way. Mm. Fucking idiot, Will. Idiot. I've also got the new AFL website layout. Mm. Suck shit. I've got <laughs> Cal from Titanic and Sid from Toy Story. So this is, uh, so this is Rats, of, Rats the of the Week. Mate, Paddy Cripps. He's just, he's too good, mate. <laughs> Not a Cats fan, but Jesus just like, Christ. fuck off, bro. He, he was good. He was good. Yeah. All right, sure thing, Bet of the Week. Oh, Bombers by 40. 100%. 100%. Yeah. I've got Rosie yeah. to kick three and get yeah. 20 tomorrow at the G against the Woods. Yeah. No, I don't like Collingwood either. Let's, let's go, go let's, let's move on. All right, I think we'll wrap it up there, folks. First episode, short one first off. Cookie, how do you think it went? 
pretty good, mate. What do you reckon you can get, in, get up to tonight? Well, we're going to go to the Slingers Dig at the corner. Sold out show. We're just rock and roll and grip it and rip it, I reckon. Oh, nice, dude. Reckon you can get some cash out for me too? Or? Yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk after the show. Then, <laughs> all, right. all right, let's pack this shit up and let's get going. This, this has been Up The Guts and we'll see you next time. Yeah.